Hey folks, Johnson here. We're on our way to pick up the two cars that I showed you the other day, 31 and the 33. Uh, I think we're going to get the 33 because it's the uh, one in the that really needs uh, something done pretty quick. So we're going to get it to the house, and uh, tomorrow is going to be Noah's day to to uh, go through that thing. We're going to put it in ICU and just either you know sandblast or do something, get it cleaned up, and then we're going to try to get some primer on it so it won't uh, keep rusting. So. Folks, we gotta load it up. Drop, we gotta get her home, get her on the IV here. She don't fall apart. Alright. Okay folks, uh made it back with the uh Chrysler and kind of confused here because uh it seems like most of the Chryslers that I look up have got a two-piece windshield, a split down the center. And I don't think I've seen one with that visor. And the visor has got some shape to it there, if you can see it. So, uh, I don't know. As uh, far as I know, it is what it's supposed to be. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to know a whole lot more because we're going to go ahead and start getting this. Uh, this is Noah's job for tomorrow is to get this thing a little secured here. We're going to uh, pull some stuff off, uh, clean it out, and maybe possibly do some sandblasting and some priming and just to try to you know keep this thing from getting any worse now this is never going to be a a nice car again this will be rat rod material uh you can hear well it's still there you know there's there may be some of the bottoms of the doors that may go but the way i see it is if i sandblast this thing and it blows holes in it well that wasn't a good you know section anyway it needed replaced anyway so it's not going to matter uh as for fender we may pull this out some looks like the fenders are still pretty solid they're just bent and i don't think these are bent from uh the fire well, and of course i know they're not uh the building actually come in on this thing this was in a building when it happened uh, but we're gonna do what we can to save the body and I think it'll be fine and like I said you know there's there's some warping there's some warping on top of the hood uh, this side is really I don't see anything here but there is on the other side and let me see the roof both roof panels has got some warps I don't see that much more it's you know the car is so thick to start with I think that's what has uh, saved it yeah well I hear crunchy but it's still it's still solid metal so uh, it's probably just the rust on the inside uh, the warping right here But like I said, I think you know, it's, it's it's worth not letting it go to waste and I think we can save it We'll get up there and look inside of it here. See what it looks like and I do think the headlight Makes the car look like it's crying It even uh, melted the bulb But you know I came down the road. I took the back roads and 50 55 mile an hour and nothing was blowing off so this thing is still pretty good you know pretty together and stay and and uh sturdy and i don't think this side has been opened since it since it burned you know, the hinges ain't stuck surprisingly The old six has got hot, very, very hot. Melted the fuel pump, so you know it's 1200 degrees to melt the aluminum. Of course, the radiator is going to be shot. Uh, believe it or not, I think the headlight buckets and the grill would be okay, and probably just leave them like they are. You know, that would, uh, since it's been burned, it would you know, go right, right, right along with the rat rod theme, but uh, you know, a lot of the stuff I think is going to be fine if we can just get to it and before it rusts so bad that uh, you know we're gonna have major issues and I think we can get to the inside of most of the panels because the rust is gonna be just as bad on the inside as it is on the outside where it burnt you know just try to get everything out all the window tracks and window 
so we can get it cleaned up. Part of the seat's still in there. Part of the original foam and stuff. And it's definitely burnt bad. Now the, the top warps right here, what I was talking about, and I'm sure that was probably, a lot of it probably had to do with the weight on it. And you can see the chicken wire. You know, someone told me that I was full of it, that they didn't use chicken wire in old cars, and that, that is chicken wire, and that is what they used in old cars. And, uh, but I think, uh, getting it apart and getting, you know, getting some stuff cleaned up on it, getting some rust off so it'll stop it, stop the rust is what we need to really do. And, uh, you know, it melted glass completely. So it was definitely a hot fire, but, uh, you know, a new car would be warped all to pieces. Uh, old car hold up a little bit better. I think I'm going to find me something to tap on this thing with. So we can really check it and see how bad it is. Okay, I don't want to hit it too hard because I don't want to put any little dings in it, but... I think right here it's not as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, there you go. There's what I'm looking for. Yeah, everything's nice and solid up higher. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's a shame it burnt. That I had a lot of money in it. But it happens, you know. And uh, it's my understanding that the, the building was insured. And the problem was, yeah, I think it's about time for a new camera here. But uh, it's my understanding that the, the building was insured but it was only insured for $100,000 and the cars that were in it were more, worth more than that. And that's my understanding anyway. I sure like to get a door open. Yeah, that's going to be tomorrow's task, trying to get a door open. So if it don't rain tomorrow, uh, I think, uh, yeah, definitely don't want to come up. So if it don't rain tomorrow, we will definitely have a video out on this uh, to show you our progress on it. And, you know, I think that it'll probably look a whole lot different tomorrow than it does today. Now, as you can see, it melted all the springs. So really nothing there is worth, you know, saving. The frame, I'm sure, is not worth saving. Uh, you know, if it got it hot enough at all to warp it or bend it or, you know, and I'm sure if it was... Which it may not have been hardened in any way, but if it was, it, you know, it would have taken the, any strength out of it, it was there. So, we'll probably, uh, you know, ditch that. But, like I said, you know, we're going we're gonna to save as much as we can. So, anyway, everybody stay tuned and see how this turns out. I don't think we can save that lens. Maybe we can heat it up and lay it on something flat. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, stay tuned for more. Bye.
out moving to the left real hard. Yep. Gum that's got a little mouth on. All right, probably up <laughs> two or three pounds. Just big enough to take the uh, the hook away. All right. 